Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, seeing positivity, seeing blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And so today we are talking love and marriage hunts. Well, you guys know why you are here. Today we are talking because Carlos King decided to drop a season uh, six part two trailer today, the same day as the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion trailer drops, even though the show does not come back till September 16th. All right, so nonetheless, in this video, we are talking about uh, do people finally have smoke for Marceau? Is Marceau finally uh, going to be called out for his disrespectful comments to women? Uh, we see Courtney and, uh, you know, Stormy get up in the middle of an attempted comeback group uh, session uh, where they do not like the energy. Uh, from Marceau and also he was disrespectful uh, to Tiffany saying that she's never felt valued right uh, so is Big Lou going to come through again and I feel like even if they do are they really going to show us um, Marceau really truly getting dragged because we've been waiting six seasons for it to happen and even when there is attempts in the trailers you guys in the previews uh the actual show that comes to air on saturday uh they completely wipe that out of the scene right they completely wipe out any traces that is going to make marceau look bad right except for cheating allegations right but everything else anytime anybody's trying to sun him anytime anybody's trying to check him or put him in his place they always edit it to make it seem like it wasn't that serious or even if somebody really did go hard in the paint against Marceau, that Marceau is going to come out smelling like the rose in all of this, right? And my question is why? My question is why? Why are we protecting toxicity? Why are we protecting misogyny? Why are we protecting people who are alleged cheaters and have had cheating allegations against them? Every single season the show has existed. Like, why? What happened? What does Marceau have on production, you guys? What does Marceau have on the show that he continues to get protected? And every time we get bamboozled by these trailers, by these scenes, and uh, think that something finally is going to go down, right? And notice we don't even see a confrontation between Marceau and Kiki, who he keeps saying behind her back is a drug addict, right? Keeps saying all these disrespectful things to anybody who will listen, not name Kiki. But where is the smoke in her face when it is all said and done to address Kiki and address his issues with Kiki to her face instead of saying all of these reckless things behind her back, you guys? And that's what I want to know. Where is the energy, Marceau? Where is the energy, Marceau, to where you feel like you can talk any way about these women and then you try to diminish things whenever these men come for you? Or these men tell you what it is, right? Uh, you never have the same energy, but you have no problem trying to diminish and, uh, you know, make all of these women feel small, right? And insult these women and come for these women and insert yourself in anything that involves the women, right? Uh, because you want to make sure that your misogynist take is the one that sticks, right? Uh, and all it does is it gets more people riled up, right? So my question is, you know, what, what are we achieving at this point, right? What are we achieving at this point? <laughs> like, there could be a million cheating accusations. Uh, he could be disrespectful to all of these men's wives, and it's crickets. It is absolute crickets. We think that there is going to be a scene finally where Marso is going to get dragged finally, where Marso is finally going to get called out. Even his brother is even calling him out this season, which is a shocker. Uh, so, I, uh, you know, but again, I don't trust this trailer, right? I don't trust this trailer because remember how hyped up last time uh, we were for part one, for season six, part one of the trailer, and we thought we were going to see really big Lou come to action and defending Tiffany against Marceau, and somehow that scene was completely chopped and screwed by the time we got to the episode. So I do not trust production at all, and I don't trust that what we've seen in this trailer, uh, if they feel in any way is going to make Marceau look any worse than he does 
that we're going to see the full extent of any attempts from Courtney, Kiki, or Big Lou finally holding Marceau accountable to his face, right? So there is that. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.